Hey, greetings, Tuberinos. Well, I have a couple of interesting things for you today. We're going to talk a little bit about technology. First, we're going to unbox an iPod, an iPod Touch, and then I'm going to show you an example of what some people are using the touchpad technology for. And wait till you see this. <laughs> First, the unboxing. <clears throat> well, look what I've got. Mm hmm. Yep. Indeed. Let's open it up. A little seal on the end there. Do -do -do -do. Wah. Sticker. Well, there's one on this end too. Yeah. And we go there. I don't know where the tab is on this end. So I just have to fake it. I can't see the tab. Can't see the tab. No one opened it yet. Nobody told me it was going to be a pain in my ass. Ah, screw it. Let's do it this way. Aha. And there we have the unit itself, which appears to have a little sticker or something on it at the moment, because that's not the actual screen. It's sitting on a little plate. Some kind of little seal or something on the back unit itself. Let's put that aside for a moment. And also in the box appears to be instructions or some such thing. Gestes Elementaires or whatever the hell that is. Getting started I'm gonna guess. Fingertips. I've got fingertips. I don't need more fingertips. I don't know, what's that, instructions? Um, your basic um, iPod guide in French. iPod touch important product notice. Apple stickers. Get them with every damn thing you buy with them. And in here we have the USB cable. Gonna need that. Yep, gonna need that. Plug into the PC. And the obligatory little earbuds. Good to start with, but these things crap out after about four months. So, better nothing to start with, but for the most part, I'll be using my regular, uh, my Sony monitor headphones with these. And you have a little, where you go, you end up with a little box that you can carry the damn thing around in. And I'll pull that ass, last ass, little sticker off there. I suppose I could use that as a little iPod box after. For the moment, I'll put that aside. Boom. Down in here, let's see. Important product notice. Psh, whatever. Like, I'm going to read the instructions. Driving and rider safety, avoiding water in wet locations. Yeah, yeah I'm going to. I think I'll stay out of the rain with it. Apple stickers. Always get those. Uh, same shit in French. Fingertips. I have no idea what the hell that is. Fingertips. Fingertips. Oh, mm hmm. How to use it, I guess. Set up, sync, and charge. Download, install the latest version of iTunes. I've done that. Yeah, this would be upside down for you guys, but, uh, you know, whatever. Connect iPod Touch to the USB port. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Follow instructions. Blah, blah, blah. Learn more. Volume up, down, on, off, sleep, wake. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Blah blah blah. Song and video controls. While listening to music, rotate iPod Touch to flick through your album art and cover flow. And blah 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 blah. Access the iTunes Store. Yeah, they always want you to buy shit. You know what? What about free shit? Fuck you and your buying shit. Multitasking. Run multiple apps at the same time. Blah 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 blah. FaceTime. To begin a video call, select a contact in FaceTime and tap the FaceTime button. During a video call, you can switch to the rear camera to share your surroundings. This damn thing's got two cameras. Sweet. I like that. HD video. To record HD video, tap camera, then set the switch to video. Tap the record button to start recording. Tap it again to stop recording. To control exposure, tap anyone, anyone or anything on the screen you record in landscape or portrait. HD video? Really? Holy shit. And then presumably it's got Wi-Fi, so if I'm within range of a Wi-Fi connection, I can do a quick HD video and upload. 
to YouTube directly from this. Hmm. It's going to be fun. Okay, let's see here. It's kind of clipped to and uh, shit. So uh, let's have a look. Some kind of label sticker thing on the back. Does that seal it to it? I think it does. Yeah, it does. So then there's like plastic tabs that undo from the back and release the unit itself. There we go. Ah, yeah, sure enough, that plastic cover also comprises the tabs that hold it in the box. So let's peel that shit off, which means I'll be exposing the screen for the first time. There it is, a lovely little unit. Man, amazingly small. This is only a 32 gig unit, all I could afford. But still, holy shit, man. It's got a little camera on the back. Got a little camera on the front. And this amazing little screen. Touch screen operation. What amazing devices. Let's peel that shit off there. Wait, let's see. Uh, I'll go and drop it now. There we go. Alrighty. More packaging. There we go. Slick little unit. I don't suppose there's any power in it yet. Volume up, volume down buttons. Power switch. Oh, fuck me. There is power. It's lighting up. It's probably not going to do anything, though, because it needs to be charged and plugged in and initiated or some damn thing. Well, let's give it a second. <clears throat> no. It wants to plug into iTunes. Well, so that's where it stands for the moment. Let's plug it in. This is actually our brand new iPhone app called Body Heat. It talks to the product using your sense of touch. So when you touch the screen, it intensifies. The longer you hold it, the stronger it gets. And as you move around, it completely customizes your experience. You can touch it in multiple places. It's going to give you a different response every time. And you can save your favorite once so you have you something that you like. You and, and then you can go to your favorites, and it will replay what you've created. Fantastic. You're essentially like your own DJ for the toy. Mm-hmm. Can you believe that? <laughs> I don't know. I can think of a lot le better uses for a technology and a lot better um, attachments to apply to that need. I think if you need a uh, robo-techno remotely controlled dildo to make you happy that there's something wrong in your life, um, don't get me wrong. I don't discount the possibility that that's a great device for individuals at certain times um, with individual needs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the ladies uh, that like to play with such toys, etc., or whoever. But <laughs> that's their business, I suppose. But I think to some extent, uh, all joking aside, I think it's a little bit sad that we need to resort to this robo-technology in order to get off. Um, yeah, I don't know about you guys yeah, and you gals, but I've been around long enough that I've learned a trick or two. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I happen to have my own uh, special attachments and touch technology. Mm-hmm. Then I know precisely how to use at the right occasion. Mm-hmm. You see these here? They come attached. No extra batteries. Don't have to worry about program crashes. And extra special added attachments. You know what I mean. <laughs> Peace and long life.